Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Well, the first half of the day was just beautiful. I mean, it was like picture perfect. We had all kinds of sunshine, but as expected, we've got some changes to deal with here. Rain showers are coming down. Nothing serious, that's for sure. It's mainly light stuff, but right along the Adirondack Northway and Route 9 here, so Scroon Lake, you could follow this up toward Westport where you'll actually drive out of it. Now we are finding some rain showers around northern Vermont, a little bit in the Northeast Kingdom, especially over toward North. Uh, New uh, port and also down toward Barton. And if you come on down to the south, uh, right around Washington over toward Haverhill, we had just a little bit, but it's just not that much. So we've got a cold front back to the west, and that is going to bring one more round of this stuff through a little bit later on. Could be some pretty decent downpours with this, and that's about it. Then it's going to come to an end. So right now over Plattsburgh, things are looking fine. Lake Champlain and it looks a little dark and ominous up over where the Green Mountains, well, they are there. I was going to be, I was going to say should be, but uh, just tough to tell <laughs> there tonight. Right now it's 51 degrees. We've got a southwest wind at about 14. The wind was kicking up, uh, yeah, quite a bit, a little bit earlier. It is getting a little bit cooler in northern New York. We're in the 50s right in the Champlain Valley, 60s, Lebanon, Springfield, on down to Keene which is pretty nice. So for tonight, temperature is going to be coming down. We're going to keep the chance for some rain showers in your weather forecast. 11 o'clock, 12, 1 o'clock. That's going to be that secondary uh, system coming through. It's actually the cold front. Then after that, it does get colder. Thinking low about 30 degrees or so will be nice and clear for tomorrow. So the rain moves out sunny. It is going to be cooler for the upcoming day. Monday showers, breezy, maybe even thunderstorms around here on Tuesday. We'll keep a close eye on this for you. In the meantime, for the upcoming day, look at the sunshine. Temperatures topping out in the 40s, thinking a high about 49 or so. Saw the high 59 in Burlington today, so uh, we're not going in the right direction, that's for sure. 59, that's a couple of degrees warmer than the average for this time of year. It's just easy to forget that because overall it has been cool. This is Futurecast, 7 o'clock tonight. Here's what's up. We get a break from the first round. Second round goes through. Maybe a couple of snowflakes up in the mountains, and here comes your Monday. That is a mostly sunny day. So Monday night, we are clear for a big chunk of the night, and watch what happens on Tuesday. Any sunshine in the morning starts to fade. Clouds on the increase by lunchtime. We've got some showers of rain in the valley, starting to see some snow up in the mountains and maybe a rumble of thunder as the front does go through. And then we start to clear by the time we get into that night. Still some clouds around the day after that, but I think Tuesday and Wednesday are going to be breezy. So scattered rain showers out there tonight, upper 20s, low 30s for low temperatures. And then for tomorrow, mostly sunny. It is going to be cooler. Burlington, 49, Newport, 44, 46 in Lindenville. Meanwhile, northern New York, partly to mostly sunny, and it is going to be cooler. 45 Plattsburgh along with Lake Placid, Tupper Lake at 46. And one more stop where, again, it's going to be on the cool side. Uh, mostly sunny, Peru 46, Ludlow 50 degrees, Springfield at 53. All right, five-day forecast. Here it comes. 49 tomorrow, 53 kind of breezy with rain showers and some mountain snow on Tuesday, Wednesday, still kind of breezy clouds, some sun in there, but we go from 53 to 42. Thursday looks good, 50 degrees, 52 on Friday. Beginning of the weekend looks good. Later on Sunday, we've got the chance for some showers, some showers next Monday, then the day after that, Tuesday looking good with highs about 55. 